Hi there folks and welcome back to another video. I've been messing about with antennas again and come up with a two band vertical for 20 and 40 meters and I thought it would be quite useful. So the antenna itself is basically made up of two wires. The first uh, as depicted in this rather tangled mess of wire here which is the actual antenna. This white wire is literally just over a quarter wavelength long on 20 meters. We then have yes you guessed it a rather rough and ready coil which I put together 33 micro henry coil and you can see that the uh, the coil sits at the top of the quarter wave here and in this green wire is about 1.3 meters or so of wire just above the coil so what does the coil do well what it does it basically chokes off the lower element for 20 meters the white wire which is about 5 5.4 meters long and then it loads up uh, 40 meters so the overall length of the antenna is about 6.7 meters long so it just about fits okay onto a seven meter fiberglass pole they tend to be about 6.8 meters or so in reality those poles so very useful for taking out a portable very quick to set up and it works quite well you can see it's fed at the bottom with some ground radials uh, as many as you can put down uh, supported on a pole, fiberglass pole, or maybe hung from a tree. Uh, the bottom element is about 5.4 meters long. Now it's slightly longer than a, a quarter wave on 20 meters. You'll find that the coil will not only act as a, a trap, but it'll also, uh, for 20 meters, serve to actually shorten the antenna a bit. So you've got to cut 20 meters a bit longer. I found 5.4 meters worked okay for me, just using a cheap old speaker wire here. And then uh, the coil itself, you'll find designs about how to make this coil. 33, 34 micro henrys or something like that. It's not too critical. Uh, you'll find, I'll put a link down the bottom there, about how you can work out how many turns of wire you need. Now, it depends on the diameter of the pipe that you use or the former that you use and also the, the, the width of the wire itself. But uh, you can calculate that and you'll get pretty close with it. You know, as long as you're around 33 to 35 micro henry something like that it's fine and then the top wire uh that's it turns out about four foot about 1.28 meters now uh, you might uh, think well how much of a um how much of a compromise is it on 40 meters well uh, let's have a look at that and quick look at the modeling and then what we're going to do then is have a go we're putting this antenna up and see if we can make some contacts so here's the 20 meter plot at the top of the screen you can see there's a figure of minus 6.2 at five degrees and uh, that's just about right and indeed from 10 15 20 25 degree uh, takeoff this antenna is basically within a db or so or equal to a normal quarter wave now when we look at 40 meters the figures minus 7 db again at five degrees and again for those angles this antenna is around about i would say one and a half to one db just down on a quarter wave so negligible it'll perform very well indeed as a vertical. My contacts on the day were made on 40 meters because that's the band I really wanted to test because I know on 20 meters this is going to be a very good quarter wave vertical, not a problem. 40, it's about two thirds the size of a quarter wave. Let's see how well it did on the day on 40 meters. Let me show you the, uh, the installation here. So here it is, uh, let me show you. So we've got some radials very haphazardly put about. I've only got about an hour to do this today. So the radials are there. And uh, as you can see, what I've gone and done here at the feed point, uh, oh, one of the radio wires has come off, so I'll sort it out now. So you've got the actual vertical element there on the positive, on the red one, yeah. And that goes up, let me show you, up the pole, seven meter pole. You can see the coil there and a bit above. All right, so that's the, that's the antenna, now I'll attach both sets of ground radials in a second. I've got one here, look, with these radials here, and another one here, which I'll put on there in a second for these radials. And we've got the coax running back to the operating position in the car. And that's about it. Golf 5, Tango Mike Portable. Uh, that's all to you, Golf 5, Tango Mike Portable. Tim, good afternoon to you. Yeah, you're sounding, well, it's definitely you, you're sounding good. Uh, a little bit of QSB on you. Uh, 5, 3 to 5, 6, 53 to 56 at the moment, Tim, over. Yeah, G5 TMP. Sorry, I had another call sign mixed up there. Uh, good signal here, Tim. You're about 5 and 9. I'll send you the bill for the YouTube bit, no problem at all. G5 <laughs> TMP, MM0 GTX and company. Back to you, uh, Tim, though. Tim, well, it's working very well. You've actually 
possibly peaked over at about 5 to 10 dB. So 10 dB for the log. Sierra 8, Victor Lima. Okay. Five, five, Tango, Mike. Please come again. No problem. Five and nine, signal reporting to Edinburgh. I go five, Tango, Mike. Transportable. This is Mexico 7, Sugar, Zulu, Okay, thank you for the 5758, you are 59. QRZ, please, Golf 7, Oscar, Romeo, Hotel, Portable, UK bunkers on the air. Uh, Germany 5, Tango, Mike, uh, Portable. Tim, uh, good afternoon to you, you're a good signal, 59, over. Golf 5, Tango, Mike, Portable, 5 and 9, 59, over. Number 2, Whiskey, 0, Fox Trot, Lima, Whiskey, over. Germany 5, Tango, only. GM Portable, uh, you're 5 by 9, 5 by 9, Roger. Yeah, no problem, Tim. Pleasure to put you in Gordon's card. Hope you're having fun. Or as much fun as Jordan has getting out Portable. So we've got a clear frequency here. That was the top of the band. Just the radar there. Uh, one, one. So we're pretty flat at the top. Down here. Looks clear. One. One. There we are. One. One. So we're under two to one throughout the SSB portion. And on 20, towards the top end, one. One. So about 1.1 1 .1 to one. 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 So basically it's flat. You know, very, very good SWR uh, throughout uh, 20 metres. That's good. Okay, so I didn't have a chance to have a go at 20 metres much really. But uh, I'm glad I had a chance to have a go at 40. That was good. Uh, 40 metres, if anything, is the bigger test. This is going to behave just like a quarter wave on 20. Uh, on 40, conditions I think were good because I was making some nice contacts throughout the UK. Happy with that. So initial first test, good. I haven't got a lot of radials down at the moment. Only about uh, 30 metres worth, which is um, average on 20 and pretty small on 40. So I think a bigger radial field would be good. Maybe 70 or 80 metres worth would be better. And overall, I'm quite happy with it. So a really positive start. I'm going to take her down now and uh, go home myself. I've got things to do. But if you fancy watching a few more of my videos, there'll be a few coming up on the screen here for you to click on. And click subscribe if you fancy watching more antenna videos like this. That's what I love to do. 7-3, we'll catch you again soon. Bye for now.